Hello everyone, Attack Power here with some Steel Division 2 SDL League between Alot and Blix. Let's dive right in. All right, so here we are on Harushaje with game one between Alot and Flix. His name is Knight IL2 here, but it's Flix. Uh, so Alot is on Sixth Corporal Territorial with the Maverick income. And Flix is on 17th SS also on the Maverick income. Gotta say, quite surprised leaving 17th SS open. I know it's one of those divisions I feel like isn't the big boogeyman anymore that it once was. So it really kind of flies under the radar and how ridiculously good this division again is but it is fantastic definitely one of the top tier divisions in the game i love sixth corporal but there are big problems especially just in that a phase and not having any like light armor stuff it can be really difficult to work with but let's zoom in and see what these guys are putting down and we'll talk some more about the divisions if we have time so we have a schneider at gun some katadashi snipers pianiti pianiti assault so you only get one card of these double flamethrower unit so he's got him an a so using up that strong cqc power already uh schneider 47 mils schwarloza heavy machine gun more schneider 47 mils more schwarloza and a multi which is the tnt like panzergren unit it's not a panzergren but it's like a panzergren with tnt and then we have a leader here another schneider 260 mil mortars some granicetti kaladi the triple machine gun unit some multi and t70 razvedka the only armored thing you get in a phase in this division and down south, we have a Panzer Shrek, some 45 mil AT, Schwadloza, Karadashi, and Moti. Up north, here for Flix, we have an Aufklär and an SBW 222. We have two SS Legionari, a Pioneer, two Pioneers, a Pioneer Fier, and an MG42. Zooming on down here, we have a whole bunch of Feld, Felgendamarie, Mary. I think uh, these are like the, the police units, but he's bringing them so he can use the tractions. That's why uh, MG42, a leader and off clear in the SPW222 and some SPW231s. We got some new stuff getting thrown down here, some Volkdorsch. We have another SPW233 and finally down south, we have some off clear again in the 222, some leader, some 233s and 231 SPWs and a whole bunch of SS Legionati and Pioneers. So yeah, just... Uh, 17th SS is definitely the stronger division. Um, if a lot can survive a phase in okay shape, he may be able to do all right. Uh, the the T3045s do match up well against a lot of the stuff in 17th SS, except for the Jagdpanzer IV. That it will struggle against, but against the Stug Fords and everything, should do okay with that, especially at range. Um, Infantry wise, Sixth Corporal Shillet should have the edge. Uh, 17th SS is really solid with its infantry, with especially with the Legionati. Uh, but it's actually like long range infantry. Once it runs out of Panzer Grenadiers and has to rely on MG34 Panzer Grenz and Volkdeutsch, is definitely not as strong. The other big thing out of 17th we have to remember are all the armored cars. And the fact is that a lot's only response to those in A phase are regular AT guns and T70s, which is just not where you want to be. And that's probably overseeing these Schneider 47 mils, which are really not very good AT guns. But when you're up against a billion armored cars, all of a sudden they become a little bit more viable. So we see a Potez right off the bat. How much are these? 45 points. Not too bad. 420 kilometers an hour, but bad resilience. So not a great recon plane. Definitely no utility individually. But um, I mean, obviously being able to see what's going on is always really useful. And we will, of course, see these traction cheesed cars getting to the front first. It's not that using them is cheesy. They just are cheesy by their very nature. They move way faster than any other transport in the game, which allows you to grab territory way, way before your opponent can. Can be quite frustrating. Now, the nice thing is they nerfed these. You used to be able to bring, like, the MG42s and, and some other ridiculous thing in. Uh, I think maybe, like, an AT gun or, or maybe an IG-18 or something like that. They finally nerfed that, and you're only allowed to bring these, like, soldier, the uh, police units and your leaders in on them. So not too bad now. Schneider tried to get in position to kill off some of this stuff. Maybe he'll get the 222. That would be huge. Or the or the MG42. 222 being the more dangerous long-term thing. Does take it out. That's a huge kill. Really nice. Let's see if they can do the same here. Going after. Takes out one, two, three, one already, but goes down four. And that's the problem with the AT guns here. Uh, as your main weapon against these things. Is usually they're gonna trade for it, and that's bad. You do not want them to trade. 233 already doing a lot of damage. Down south, we don't really have any push. Panzer Shrek in position. Schwalos are trying to pin some infantry down. SPO 222, though, going to ruin that. Sorry, got to hop around really quick here. Try to keep track of the action. Multi, not usually would do okay, but a double star might make it rough. And there's other support weapons involved. Multi does get pinned down. 
Felding going to be grabbing this flag back here. 16-8 currently. So rough so far. Although the Kanadashi took out the SPW 2-2-2 with its Panzerfaust. That's a huge kill, actually. If you can take out 2-3-1, he'll be really light on that. T70, though, in position. Did he turn off the APCR? He did. Takes out the 2-3-1. That's a big kill there for a lot. Needs to actually clean out all this light armor. Once he does, his infantry might be able to start clawing his way back in. And especially with these uh, T70s. Fortunately, he did not retreat that multi. 231 though sneaking up here. M45 trying to get in position. The 231 is going to be way past him by that point. And none of these infantry have any AT. Will the Kalarashi claim the other 233 here? It's not an attack move. Oh no. Oh, he missed his opportunity. Oh my goodness. T70 moving in to pick on all of this light, soft stuff. A lot really needs to get just one single unit right there just to recapture that. 231 in position, but a lot has moved stuff out of the way. Multi and 45 trying to catch up this Legionati. That's where you need to catch them out is not in the woods. Multi getting pinned again by that triple star MG42. That is, the triple star MG42 is really quite deadly. Schneider chilling out unloaded uh, up still. That's definitely a problem. Multi 45 mil trying to stop all these infantry coming. There's a lot though. No reinforcements on their way at all. Everything has been moved up north. No reinforcements coming in, though, for Flicks down south. So it's, this is what he's got. And if he can hold this off, although the 233 is now in 45 mil. Is it trying to line up? It is. It does have eyeballs on it, so it should be lining up here. Got one hit. Can it get the second? JU87 coming in out of nowhere. Oh! But the 233 is down. Big kill there, but there's nothing left. Here comes the reinforcements. Uh, too little, too late, I think, though. Flicks making... Uh, making pushes all over the place. Nothing to stop them. T70 going after that SBW-222, trying to take it out. Finally, we have some Granachetti Kaladi coming in to recapture his flag. Back to his 16-8. Yeah, it was worse than that a moment ago. Infantry getting crushed. 60 mil mortar going to die here to the 231, most likely. The sacrifice might be worth it, just so he can reveal this. Is a lot watching. It doesn't look like it. Pioneer goes down. 45 mil has a chance. It does No, it's not unloaded. No, oh, no. Be an idiot. Salt fly by. 45 mil unloads. Is a lot going to be able to turn off the APCR in time? No. Oh, it's going to get wrecked. Oh, no. Back to a 1410, but this is very temporary. Peonidia Assault caught out. The flames could kill the 231. It's going to take some work, but it's very possible. Oh, 1410, though. A lot has, like, just clawed his way back into this slowly. Wasn't able to grab uh, back his own northern flag here. 60 mil mortar starting to do work. Peony to assault getting absolutely wrecked. Oh my goodness gracious. Trying to throw down some smoke to save the Peony to assault. The smoke is out of position. Will the Peony to assault get into the woods? Just one man needs to survive. I don't think he's going to make it. Nope. Oh. And that whole line of reinforcements is gone. A whole tick of income just wrecked. Although, on the flip side, Progress is being made in the town. This Stug 4 is a brick wall. Oh, the Dubla. Oh, the glorious Dubla. They did nerf this. Yeah, they didn't put it in the patch notes, but they seriously nerfed the Dubla to 75 points over 60. Takes out the BF-109. Single pass. What a just monster. I mean, honestly, the, the nerf was necessary, but they just didn't mention it. Kind of annoying. I hate when they miss stuff in the patch notes. Then you go into the game thinking they're going to be one thing, and they're completely not. Pioneer catching the Peonidi out. Uh, one thing... A lot is not doing very well as is using his leadership. Uh, his units are going in very under under vetted compared to Flix's, which are tending to be two to three stars consistently. 60 mil mortar trying to take out some of these infantry here. There is a Panda Strike and an Alfclair hanging out here, which means the uh, you know this Alfclair giving all that beautiful information. T70 trying to take something out here, but the Stug 4, oh, he needs to move, he needs to move, he needs to move, he has no chance, no chance at all. He's didn't, he's not seeing it. Down it goes. Big loss there, he's T70's the only armor he's got for the next four minutes, and really five or six minutes until they actually get in. SBW231 darted forward, killed the 45 mil before he could unload and like really do stuff. So he's just, he's just pissing away 45 mils right now. More coming in now, he's calling two. So hopefully two can do it. Moti and infantry overwhelming these guys in here. So nice there. 
Initial capture finally being broken down, but now all that's holding the line over here is some 60 mil mortars. So hopefully for a lot's sake, Flick stays passive on this. More smoke. Not sure what for. I mean, it's, yeah, smoking off the Stug, but they're just going to drive forward. Big whoop. He still has nothing. He should have brought the 45s down here and put the Schneiders up here. I'm not... He called in a Schneider and put it in here. Uh, I'm not 100% sure the point of that. Do we have some artillery? We do have a Nebelwerfer, 150 mil. Great call in to kill off these 60 mil mortars. They're very easy to kill with the Nebelwerfers. It needs like one hit, basically. P and 80 are going to get absolutely wrecked out in the open by this MG42 triple star at this range. It's going to be nasty. 60 mil trying to help out, I think. Where's it going? Oh, it's just throwing down a... Yeah, it's just throwing a salvo down on these Panzergrens. Does a little damage, but of course, damage is not what 60 mils are going for. We've got a Flak 36 and a Flak 38 down here. That's kind of surprising to have both. SPW 231 is not sticking out. Oh, no, it is. Interesting. Uh, certainly doesn't look like it is. Down it goes. Very important kill there. He, he finally has basically cleared the field of this light... AT, this Panzer Shrek, just doing its little hidey thing. 60 mil mortars finally got on target of that MG42. T70 coming over here. Uh, is going to pop himself out here. Oh, no. Okay, he drives through. All right, all right. Infantry flowing back in. Flick's trying to pick up his 15-9 again. So much action here in the first few minutes of the game. Flick's definitely out trading, though. A lot of infantry getting chewed up here in the town. Volkdeutsch recapturing this flag. T-70 is not able to stop him. Panzer Shark coming in. Potez with the two 100 kilogram bombs coming in. 60 mil mortar going after the flak. Oh, getting some nice hits on it. Killing that would be great. Open up the sky a little for the Potez. Potez coming in. It Does it still see it? Oh, the Kalarashi lost line of sight. I think he's going to miss. No, we got on target. What a kill there. JU, though, coming in for the 45 mil? I'm supposing the 45 mil used to be here and got moved. How would he have seen it, though? No, 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 it's right here. Oh, but it survives the one-man AT squad. T-70 going down to the Stug 4. Now there's no more armor and flicks firmly in control of this town. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's some stuff here from a lot, but not enough to stop what's standing here. Stug 4 is showing how powerful they are, especially against 6th in A phase. Schneider, no chance against that thing. It, uh, even, I mean, from the side, I would think. Yes, from the side, very much so, but you're only getting one side shot at a time. Kadarashi catching out the Pioneers, but the SS Legionati are going to fly in here and ruin that day. Killing the Flak was nice, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Attack Beacon, that's kind of weird. Not sure what he... I guess maybe he just miscited where that 60 mil was. Really strange. Infantry getting crushed here. No AT on them. They're pinned. A lot has not noticed yet and not has not retreated. 60 mil mortars doing what they do, but I don't think they're doing enough, unfortunately. Rashidza finally coming in in phase B. So for me personally, when I play sick, I put the Rashidza's in phase A. Even though you only get two and then that's it, you really need them to stop armor in A phase. It's kind of a desperate need. Here comes the Nebelwerfers. Oh, no. Oh, no. Going after the Dubla as well. Oh. Oh, and it survives. Rashidza getting an eyeball on that Stug 4, but it's close range, not the range Rashidza wants to fight. But, oh, and it misses its first shot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Rashidza's going down. Ooh. T-34-85 up north? Oh, no. It's coming into this position, but it's, it's the leader. So it only, it only has a 1,750 meter range. Why would you choose that of all the things? Don't tell me that's all he has armor-wise in phase B. Very odd column. And then to put it on top of the hill, it feels like he's expecting this to have 2K range and it doesn't. Finally, some Granachetti Kaladi here. Oh, Legionati do go down, so that's a nice kill there. There's plenty more where that came from, though. Down south, 60 mil continuing to try to... You know, press some advantage of some sort. Another 231 has appeared. Black 38. I, I'm, I feel like 17th is better AA than this. Like, you can just bring an SDK of Z71 instead. Like, why bring these in? 
they are really, especially singularly like this, they're really bad. Oh no, Panzergren gonna hop into a house and kill off this Rashid. Oh, a lot with a very heads up player throwing down some smoke. But now the Panzergren's just gonna kill the 60 mil instead. You've denied me my, my quarry, so now I shall take you instead. Lieutenant trying to do something about it. Oh no, the smoke has not covered enough. Yo, oh, the smoke not down enough. Oh, yeah, it is right now. Oh my goodness. A lot moving heaven and earth to keep this thing alive. Yeah, see, and this T-34 not having the 2K range is absolutely devastating. A severe mistake by a lot with this call-in. Smoke finally fully covering that off. Kadarashimoto now in. Kadarashimoto much better at long range. Stug 4, though, might ruin it for him. Uh. Potez going after that Panzergren will get through. Does nice damage. Doesn't kill it, but definitely good enough to basically knock it out of action. More SS Legionati is coming in. Reinforcements coming in as well. So the, the PN-80 Assault will get overwhelmed by a double unit. These are fantastic, but against one on two, two on one is always bad. You will generally always lose a two on one. Rashita going after this Panzergren, I assume. And uh, a lot did not fall back his potes so not great on that one a lot missing several key micro things that are really punishing him black 36 and 20 mil managed to kill that potes should have should have been able to the black 38 game gives it that little extra killing power dubla getting pressured down it goes last missile of that nebelwerfer unfortunate for a lot he would have loved to keep that alive now thing is uh the, you know the air power out of 17th ss is not exactly overwhelming um, it, it, it's not, it, it's got good planes, although I'm surprised he's using the JU-87s of all things. Um, you know, you have good bomber here in JU-88. This is good. Um, Karadashi Moto, uh, Moto should be able to beat any of these Panzergrens at range, because it literally is a Panzergren. The Shitsa goes down, unfortunately. Ooh, JU-88 erases that Karadashi. T-34-85, shooting at some infantry. Not exactly what you wanted in for, but at the same time, he really doesn't want to fight the Stugs at this range. This is too close. The Stug gets to uptrade at this range. Like, it will pen this pretty consistently at this range. Gets the first shot off, gets that first penetration. T-34 also pens, but you can see reload time. It, it's going to lose. Can it get out of line of sight? It does get out of line of sight in time. Good call there. Still 17-7. Only four minutes left here for a lot. T-34 does get off a trade, and this is a bad trade. This is why, this is the issue with this. Uh, you know, that's a hundred, uh, what, a 90? 90 point? 85 point tank killing a 110 point tank? Not good. Uh, not the trades you need to be doing to win a game. This T-3045, though, did manage to get a pen on this Stug 4 without getting pen back, so that's a nice, that's a nice hit. Double SS is going to beat this PNAD assault very definitely. Those Berettas and stuff. Pianiti, both of them will get their grenades off. Kind of a waste. The first one will kill this. Yep. So, waste of a grenade there. Not great, but hey, it happens. 231 is a brick wall for these guys, though. They're not getting through. Here comes more T3045. Schwa loses. Pianiti, Kaladi. We have a Flak 88 in as well. So, it looks like uh, looks like Flix brought in four cards of AA. So, that's a lot of AA. Whole army of SS Legionati. Flix eating through his supply of those quite quickly. Granadjeti Kaladi, it looks like it looks like a lot has it built similar to where, the way I do with an A phase multi card and then a C phase multi card. Yeah, CP and assaults getting overwhelmed. Yep, no chance against double these guys. Did they even do much damage? They did. They did relatively good damage. It's still a very good unit. BF 109 G2. This is this is not. This is dumb. This is now going to die. Yeah, this was really, really dumb. This one, even if it even if it actually hit, it doesn't do anything. Like a BF 109 G2 does not strafe well at all. Yeah, that was a really odd and wasteful play. Gotta be honest. It does manage to surrender the Volkdeutsch, so that's nice. Granchetti Kaladi cannot stop the Legionatis, unfortunately. I'm, I, I'll be honest, I do not like Hadashaj. I ban it basically first. <laughs> I actually do. I know that sounds so weird. Because I, objectively, I, I understand this map is not bad and it's definitely one of the better maps in terms of both sides having a chance, but... I just suck on this map, and I get stuck on this side of the map all the time, and uh, once you get pushed out, it, the game's over. 
And it's so much easier to push this side out than this side because you have all these extra buildings to chill out in. And on this side, you have like this big gap where you can no longer get into the town. It's very frustrating. T3045 at close range does take out the Stug 4. So nice kill there. Definitely needed that badly. We do have some surrenders here. Probably, yeah, just the he sent a wave of Granacetti Kaladi forward and they got eaten up. This Granacetti, though, should be able to stop these CQC units. And he has broken down a good number, actually. He sets up just some infantry in the church. He should be pretty safe, but it looks like he's going to keep pushing in. Only two minutes left here for a lot. He needs to turn around soon. We're almost done with B-Phase. Sixth Corporal. I really like the division, but it is tough. It is a tough division. It, it's so good once you can get out of A-Phase. But it's so rough in a phase, especially if you're first. I would never pick first sixth, uh, sixth corporal. I really wouldn't. It's so easy to counter and just spam all over them with just, you know, just anything with armor. And you're just going to struggle so bad. Stug 4 is moving in. T3045 stopping them in their tracks. Oh, no, it's not. It's aiming at some infantry. That's bad. Double Stug is going to kill this T3045. Down he goes. Yep. Mm. And this is why Stug 4 is... This is why fighting Stugs at close range with your T-3045s is an absolute terrible plan. At long range, the T-3045 has the advantage because of its higher armor and its better penetration. It's just a better tank. Uh, but at close range, the, the Stug pens every single time and will always... It, it just... I think it fires faster, too, if I'm not mistaken. Six rounds a minute. Seven... Yeah, it fires faster. So that really just clinches it. It's a really bad matchup. But truthfully, again, on a lot for not banning this division. Only 30 seconds left here. Flick's in an absolutely dominating position. Made great attacks all over the map. Yeah, this I think blue side is a much stronger side in this map. I don't think it's like un, like ridiculously unfair. It definitely is not, but... It's definitely, this side is stronger and easier to make ground in the town. You get this flag very easily at the beginning of the game. Um, you know, you have this concentration of three flags down here, which is so easy to defend. And your opponent's almost forced to push into here because it, there's not really, pushing this hill is much more difficult than pushing this one. So 19 minutes, 17 seconds. Flicks winning that game. 1,890 kills to only 1,110 kills from a lot. Tough game for him. Um, love sixth, but this is a rough matchup. I mean, everything's hard against 17th because they just have everything. They have everything you want. And truthfully, sixth on this map is a little odd. You want some like light medium armor for the town. So when all you have are T3485s, you, you are always trading down. You're never trading up at any point. And that's really rough. It's hard to win like that. Um, I, I feel like I don't know, like maybe 8th Cav would be, would be if you're going to pick a Romanian division like that, 8th Cav would be better. I mean, obviously 5th Cav would definitely be even better, better, but I actually think maybe 8th would be better here because of Kadarashimoto give you that long range firepower. Roshiodi are great, but they're not like truly long range infantry. Um, like a Pandagran level long range infantry, while well, Kadarashimoto are. So, I don't know. Tough game for him though. We see just every, nothing crazy. Just everything trading well. A lot actually did quite well countering the early armored car push overall, uh, but then just could not deal with the because he invested in Schneiders. He just could not finish off the Shug Fours when those showed up. If you guys enjoyed that, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and consider supporting over on Patreon. Thanks a bunch, and have a fantastic day.